Now let's talk about the second SMI source that we're going to highlight, and this is a big one, the Advanced Power Management Port I.O. Port B2 interface. So this is a big one because this is going to be used basically as an interface to SMM as a sort of syscall-ish type thing. So we said we we're going to talk about it later, and the time is now and the place is here. Checking all of this big list of system management interrupts, we see that a write to the B2 register is something that causes an SMI. And the additional enables is that APMC N must be equal to 1, and the status is reporting in the APM status register. Now, APM is Advanced Power Management Interface, and all PCH systems support this. Some earlier systems may not. But basically, it's the power management standard that Intel followed before it started using ACPI, which we'll talk about a bit later. This is a fixed I.O. range. It's always ports B2 and B3, so it can't be relocated. So it listed an additional enable of APMCN. So what is that? Well, that's bit 5 in the SMI enable register. And that register is found at PM base plus 30. So if it's an offset from PM base, it's going to be port IO. So we saw that in the previous SMI thing. Uh, PM base plus 60 was uh, port IO. This is port IO. PM base itself is just a port IO base for power management. And this is indeed power management, advanced power management. So if this is set to 1, then writes to the hex B2 will cause an SMI. So if this is set to 1, it says writes to the APM CNT register cause an SMI, and if it's set to 0, they don't. Well, what is the APM CNT? That is the actual name for the B2 port. So looking through the manual, finding this APM CNT, you've got the B2, which is the Advanced Power Management Control Port, and the B3 is Advanced Power Management Status Port. And while it's notionally a status, as you'll see in the next slide, it's not really used that way much. Now both of these registers are read-write, and how they tend to work is that a BIOS or operating system will poke some arbitrary bytes into each of these. These are each one byte large. So they'll put some arbitrary values in here. It'll cause an SMI, and then the SMI handler will peek at the values of B2 and B3 and say, okay, well, I'll have a switch statement that says, if B2 was equal to zero, do this. If it was one, do this. If it was three, do this. So basically, there's just a big switch statement on the other side where they treat this as sort of commands that are given to them by the operating system or BIOS. So there are formal definitions of APM CNT, port B2. It was used to pass command between OS and SMI handler. But the interesting thing here is more the status one. B3, it says, used to pass data between OS and SMI handler. Basically, this is a scratch pad register and is not affected by other registers or functions. I like to see basically written in Intel manuals. I like the casual feel of it. So anyways, this register is basically just a scratch pad register. And this one is the one that actually causes the SMI. Writes to this don't cause an SMI. Writes to this one do. Remember that it said in that big list that uh, it said a couple of things back that if SMI, if SMI enable, APMC enable, writes to APMC and T, so port B2 cause an SMI. So it's only port B2 which is causing the SMI. All right, so here's how I want you to think about it. You learned about system calls in Architecture 2001, which were a way to transition between current privilege level 3, so user space, then some sort of system call, and boom, you're up in kernel space, current privilege level 0. So now I want you to think about that someone's in kernel space because they need that in order to do port I.O., assuming the I.O. privilege level is set to 0. And so the code is running along in kernel space at CPL 0, and then Boeing, they hit an SMI, perhaps via writing to port B2, perhaps not, but then that ultimately transitions them up into SMM, and now they are dark sonic instead of supersonic. And so SMM, for reasons we'll see later, is a dark world in which you can't see this dark sonic be working behind the scenes. So anyways, SMIs are used via port B2 in particular as a sort of uh, system call-ish type thing where you're calling into SMM rather than a kernel.